pager went off. I got 911 for the dawn. I thought, what's going on? It's a tornado out of Chickasha, and it looks pretty ugly, and don't know where what it's going to be doing, but you need to know it. We are two miles west of the western edge of Chickasha, and it's uh, almost due north of us. It's, it's massive. This thing is massive. Yeah, we're getting close to it now. Yeah, we're, we're uh, getting cracked and working our way up to now, probably within a mile and a quarter of us. Deputy Fire Chief. Jim Hawk, y'all need to get in the safe because over, well, over the raised radio said debris at air at station two. Well, I'm thinking, you know, debris at air is a big deal. I mean, so what? You know, it's a nasty storm or whatever. I later learned what that means is there's cars, cows, lumber, whatever. <laughs> when they hear that on the radio, that's what debris in the air means. But I didn't know that at the time. And, and so we all come back out, walk out the front door, the steps of 29th Street City Hall. A lot of cars are out there been hit. We had a massive tornado come through the dam. A number of years ago, my mom moved in with the wife and I. She's handicapped and, and uh, she can't do stairs or anything like that. And, and uh, used to, at one time uh, here in the community, we would all go down to the community shelter and, and uh, we've had to shut that down uh, last year due to new federal mandates and requirements and, and uh, with my position when uh, disaster happens or has to take uh, tornado precautions or whatever, uh, really concerned about the family because I can't be here during that time a lot of times and so I needed something that I could protect my family for when I'm gone doing my other job and so I needed something that was uh, user friendly for, for my mom and my wife and kids and grandkids when they're in town and everything and and uh, going with a safe room uh, the way you and your firm designed that made it with my, my mom just one fell swoop she can go in there as, as handicapped as she is and use her walker and uh, she can uh, actually access the safe room totally unassisted and uh, which really gives me a good peace of mind so yeah that's you know that's what's nice about that you don't you know have to try to get her down into a hole or you know an easy access Absolutely. where you know Absolutely. you can take her right out and get into that safe room. Yeah, I like your idea the way you did that where you put the you put the sidewalk in from from the back room area straight into the you position the safe room and uh, position that perfect where it uh, she doesn't have to dodge a lot of rain or, or hail coming down or anything like that so uh, you made that very easy for her she's very impressed me too so you know what, That's I really didn't realize just how much a peace of mind it, that it would give me until, I mean, when y'all made the pour, and you came out and, and took all the forms out and stuff and put the door on, that night, I mean, it was just like a burden is lifted off your shoulders that you're concerned with the weather, but you're not, you're not worried about where are you going to seek shelter next time. Because it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be a time that you're going to have to seek shelter for your family. And uh, that's a big burden lifted off. So uh, yeah, yeah. thank you all. I mean, good job. So.